so uh, can you tell us as the prime minister is planning to come to uh, dc next month uh, for the third official state visit of this administration what are the areas of cooperation the tech side or the two sides can focus two countries can focus on i think a key area that is emerging as a focus of cooperation mm -hmm. is technology in fact in the past uh, issues relating to strategic issues and trade issues mm -hmm. often held center stage but now we have technology that straddles all of that it straddles mm -hmm. trade it straddles strategic considerations and uh, as an example of that is the focus that both governments have had on critical and emerging technologies these also happen to be areas where the us and india have tremendous complementary strengths in terms of the talent base that exists in india that can work with innovation that occurs in the us uh, and these areas covered would include semiconductors it would include space uh, related applications it would uh, include the emerging communication standards so in all these areas there's plenty of opportunity for the us and india to collaborate and this needs to be supported by an ecosystem that will drive innovation and we're seeing plenty of that in india along the lines of what we've seen in the us for several years uh, why do you think uh, the iset dialogue which are launched this year early this year in january the two nsas and nsas are involved it means you have been the assistant secretary of commerce right yes traditionally this should have gone to the com department of commerce right correct it was interesting uh, even when i was serving in the department of commerce we had the sense that strategic issues and commercial and economic issues should work hand in hand uh, so at that point in the obama administration we had uh, essentially set up uh, a two party dialogue a two principle dialogue called the strategic and economic dialogue and the idea of that was pretty much that strategic issues should be discussed alongside um, commercial and economic issues and in fact that is what is uh, coming to be with this focus on critical and emerging technologies it's interesting that the nsa is are driving it from both sides as you pointed out and that points to the strategic considerations of technologies the increasing importance of technology in terms of strategic considerations uh, that's in my view that's what's driving and if, in fact if you re, if you look at the discussions in uh, forums like foreign affairs mm. you will find over the last year year and a half the technology has become much more central to the discourse how uh, and why technology is now impacting or become a key player in national security uh, for one thing there's a lot of um, uh, over dependence on certain areas for example china uh, for a number of um, manufacturing and supply chain uh, reasons china occupies a very central role in in the world uh, ecosystem of technology and manufacturing uh, the covid certainly brought to bear the fact that over dependence on one source is a problem and then there have been various other reasons why uh, corporations and countries want to diversify their dependence on china as a source of technological products and other products whether it's in pharmaceuticals for apis and pharmaceuticals or um, products that go into to electronics and other manufactured devices um, that focus on diversifying away from china or is called as it's called china plus one means that uh, companies and countries need to find other sources other locations india emerges as a very strong trusted location with the deep uh, capability to be able to take on a number of the areas that have formerly been concentrated uh, in china and i think india is making a lot of progress in the manufacturing area we've seen what apple is doing in india we've seen what samsung has done in india in terms of mobile phones but those are just two examples there are many areas where india is progressing in terms of advanced manufacturing and not only that uh, a number of indian entrepreneurs are looking at ways to pr produce solutions that improve manufacturing whether it's the application of robotics 
into manufacturing or other technologies to improve the manufacturing process itself. And in some sense, this follows what China has done. China has had a lot of their innovation coming out of their focus on manufacturing. And I think we are seeing the early stages of that happening in India as well. Uh, do you think uh, India and US collaborating together would reduce their risk factor or dependence on China in technology? Uh, very much so, very much so. That is the main major motivation mm. for the US and India to work together uh, will be to reduce the dependence on China. And that is going to help a lot of other countries that are similarly dependent on China, but that do not have big enough economies to support creating alternative sources within themselves. So absolutely a major driver today for increased focus of manufacturing and innovation in India is going to be the US-India mutual need to have, um, to have a, a, a supply chain that is not so dependent on China. Uh, you know, we are in Silicon Valley now, and it's a hub of global startups ecosystem here. And while you were in India after Obama's term, uh, you were there in India, as a, and now you are the VCs uh, spending um, or looking after the Indian startup sector. How do you see India as a startup sector has emerged in the last couple of years? Uh, I am very excited about what I'm seeing in the startup sector in India. And it has been accelerating in terms of innovation, in terms of company creation, uh, in terms of uh, products that are being developed in India uh, for, for markets that will be really global. So, for example, in the technology space, the deep technology space, that's one of our key, it's really our primary area of focus in my firm, Salasa Capital. Uh, we, we believe that a semicon fabulous semiconductor products from India will be, um, uh, will be a, a major place where there will be a lot of innovation. We've had a couple of very good examples in our own portfolio. And we think we will see a, a lot more of that um, to come. We also think manufacturing is going to be a big um, source of value creation in India. It has not been the case for a while, but in the last few years, we've seen some very good examples of manufacturing becoming um, a source of uh, you know, top class companies coming out of India. Now, in that concept, what role do you think Indian Americans could play? It's a, it's a relationship which is driven by people to people relationship. Uh, what role the Indian Americans could play in further strengthening it? Yeah. Actually, the Indian American relationship is extremely important to the story of the overall uh, bilateral relationship. Uh, for one thing, uh, because of the large number of Indian Americans, particularly in technology, particularly right around here, in Silicon Valley, they are very familiar with India. And many of them are refreshing their knowledge of India. Quite a few of them had not been that familiar because they'd been working here. Mm -hmm. And their knowledge of India had actually been a little outdated. But now I find that more and more people are getting refreshed in their knowledge of India. I myself spent, lived five years in India until recently. So I know intimately how India has changed. So the difficulties that existed in uh, working in India, say, 10 years ago, have been significantly reduced. Uh, I'm not trying to say it's a very easy place to work. Uh, it's certainly not Silicon Valley or Singapore, but there's been tremendous amount of progress and um, a lot can be done and is being done by entrepreneurs in India. So I, I think the Indian Americans, a lot of them who live here, will find that they will spend more time there. Many will go back and start companies there. And similarly, a lot of Indian companies that start out in Silicon Valley will come to India even more than they were doing in the past. They will come to Silicon Valley even more than they do, they've done in the past. Because by coming here, they will access a larger technology base and they will access a larger high technology oriented market. And in our own portfolio, we have companies that are doing exactly that. They have started in India and have established bases here. Uh -huh. So the Indian American connection is going to be even more powerful in terms of uh, what it produces in the future. Uh, uh, one last question I wanted to ask you about Prime Minister Modi and his push for digitization in the country. Uh, push for digitization. Yes. Uh, and technology driven uh, reforms. Uh, 
how do you see in, um, in the overall India's developmental perspective? I think the whole digitization push in India is a major factor for its progress in multiple ways. You know, for example, as is well known, uh, the direct um, payments to beneficiaries is, is a very transformative factor. Uh, second, the whole focus on uh, digital India and expanding the bandwidth coverage to all parts of India. Third, fostering an innovative ecosystem with programs like Startup India that have really led to a multiplication in the number of startups in the country uh, enormously. All those are uh, part of the digital story of India. I think the fact that India probably has the largest volume of digital payments, uh, the digital, the India stack, uh, these are all uh, really quite, uh, quite important developments for any global standard. Uh, so digitization is going to be a major push for India's progress. Prime Minister Modi has definitely put his weight behind it. And he's shown a lot of curiosity about applying technology to development in India, which, um, which is an example that many other countries are going to, to start following in the developing world. Uh, in the bilateral relationship, um, what do you visualize? Any challenges coming up in the next few years in trade? I think there will always be challenges in the U.S. and the bilateral relationship, but nothing really major. All this, the normal small challenges of negotiating various items, which you will find between mm -hmm. any two large countries. But in the main, I think um, both countries are extremely well aligned in terms of um, where they stand on most issues. Uh, in, the, in the economic front, they, both countries see the benefits of closer collaboration and working together. And I think market forces are going to drive both countries to work closer together in the areas of innovation, um, entrepreneurship, uh, high technology products. And I'm looking forward to, uh, to seeing that story develop. Mm -hmm.